What are the key responsibilities of employees to be able to perform well on the job? There are four key areas of responsibilities that I'll explain in this video. Hello, I'm Steven Goldberg of Optimus Performance, bringing you practical tips and ideas on leadership, team development, and employee performance in the workplace. Before getting into the subject matter of this video, I just want to mention that I do have some online training programs that you can access. One is on writing and using a job description to improve employee performance. The other is on achieving or setting and achieving goals. And the third one is on hiring uh, the right person for the job. Now, by watching this video and subscribing to my channel, hopefully I'll give you a 50% discount on those training programs, which are right now very well priced to begin with. And you could use the code SMART, I'll put it also in the uh, description of this video, to uh, access those trainings. So the areas of responsibilities for employees, there are four of them, and every employee should know this. So if you're the employee, you need to understand this to boost your performance. The more that you boost your performance, the more likely you are to be in demand in the, in the workplace or in your current job as well. Your employer will want to keep you and look for ways to promote you. Uh, but also uh, it'll secure your job uh, prospects if you are continuously able to assume your responsibilities. And for the manager, it's important that you understand this and make sure that you communicate that to employees. So the first area is task uh, accomplishment or meeting what's expected in terms of the tasks of the job. And that's broken down into both uh, quantity and quality. So what are the tasks that you need to perform? To what a quantity? Like what are the deliverables and what amount? And what is the quality expected for those tasks? I like to use the rule of 80-20. So 20% uh, of what you do uh, are the most important task and contribute to 80% of the value of you as an employee. So focus first on the top 20%. What are, is expected of you in terms of those tasks and at what quality? So that's the number one thing. If you're not clear on what uh, the tasks are, what's expected of you, you need to talk to your manager. If you're the boss, make sure that that is clear with the employee. The second area is team. So employees need to be able to work well with other team members in order to perform well. And so that means understanding the dy dynamics of working with people, uh, if you're working with people a lot, conflicts may arise and how do you manage those conflicts? How do you manage your communication with others? How do you collaborate with them? So these are all skill sets that can be developed and you need to understand if you're the employee that this is a core part of the job. It's not just doing your work, but part of your doing your work is collaborating with others. And if you're the manager, you need to make sure people understand this and are clear about it. The third area is initiative. So employees need to understand that it's not just doing the job and meeting standards, but it's about taking initiative to make improvements, to solve problems on their own, to find better ways of doing things. This is what will get you to stand out from the other employees and to become a star and to excel at your job. So managers also need to communicate that as an expectation to employees. 
The fourth area is a, being able to communicate with management. So if you're working on uh, coming up with new initiatives, uh, finding ways to solve problems, um, and maybe you need approval for that or you need to get feedback from management, but in general, you need to be able to communicate with management. So developing that skill set so that you're comfortable doing that and that you could put forth your ideas in a comprehensive way. Uh, what I always recommend to people is if you come up with uh, solutions to problems, which is taking initiative, put it in writing on one page if possible. Don't go into too much complexity, but just spell it out so management can then uh, mull over it or look into it, discuss it, and then come back with uh, what they want to do about it. So being able to do that is a skill set that employees need to, to develop. And management, again, you need to uh, explain that to employees and coach them on doing it. So on the management side, these are things that need to be communicated and actually coached to employees, coach them on how to assume those four areas of responsibility and employees. Uh, it's up to you to learn how to do that if your boss isn't showing it to you. There's ways to, to learn how to do that uh, through courses, or, or and this should be ongoing. It's part of your uh, own commitment to your own personal development and to make sure that you're marketable as an employee uh, in whatever industry you're in. So just to recap, there's four things. Uh, meeting the expectations of performing your tasks to quality and uh, quantity. Uh, number two, being able to work with others well as a team. Uh, number three is to uh, take initiative to come up with new ways of doing things, uh, problem solving. And number four, being able to communicate with management um, at a mature level. So I hope this is something that you can act on and that you will. As I always say in my videos, uh, information is great, but it takes action to actually implement this and make it something that's uh, real learning. So if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel, check out some of the other related videos. Uh, there's also forms and templates you can download from my website. These are aids in management. Uh, there's blog articles that go along with these uh, videos and you could uh, find the link to that in the description of this video. Thank you for listening and we'll talk again soon.